Hello, hello, hello. This is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so uh, I did have difficulties uh, uploading. I believe this is a part five. Because <laughs> uh, for some reason I couldn't put together the videos that I have took. And it wouldn't let me. <clears throat> so here it is. I finished one of the sleeves. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how. <clears throat> I'm sorry. It's very early here. And my throat isn't good. <laughs> uh, I'm going to show you how to pick up stitches. As we did the two inch, remember? So it gives you this opening. Okay. And, but that's okay here. Are, we're going to do the decreases right there. Just wanted to show you. So the more I knit, I will show you how to do the decreases. Because this being a small size, actually, this is a medium mannequin. It turned out to be bigger than I anticipated. Here, I wanted to show you. This part isn't sagging down. And I figured that out by doing those two short rows. And that fixed the problem. I did it here and here. Here and here, I believe. And, uh, yeah. You can see the halo. It's not enough for me, but what can you do? Yeah. Here's the halo. So... And can you see even that two inches pull the back up? So that's what we're aiming for. Instead of doing short rows here, I did it when I was uh, finishing it up. I was told to brush these, but I never do. <laughs> Who has the time for that? Well, whoever receives it and brush it I do, I'm sorry I don't have the time I knit and I ship right away okay so I'll just show you okay so I picked up stitches as you can see there's no holes nothing nothing no sewing involved so that's what I like about it and uh, there were 47 stitches and I picked up till it was 54 total around. And I automatically I started to get rid of stitches. Even I did this, it's pretty. So tint bigger than small size, tint bigger, yeah. yeah so I have to be more cautious. Right. So one, two, three, four, five six seven eight it's supposed to be nine and the bottom one nine we did nine decreases okay so let's go to my craft room and start picking up stitches and starting the second sleeve and then we're done yeah we're done that's all we need to do and uh it's, it, it it's time consuming because I'm knitting round and around, right? It's one piece, seamless, and the end result is fantastic, right? So I hope you like these tutorials and you can knit for yourself. There's lots of techniques involved. It's a four quarter sleeve. Okay, if you want to knit longer, you, you can knit longer, but you need to do your, uh... then what you do is, Instead of doing six rows, you can do eight rows. Yeah, but she said it fits perfectly. So I, what I would do is, because I did do decreases here as well. So what you do is, you don't do the decreases. You continue knitting, because this is from underarm, approximately 14 inches. And, uh, yeah. So let's pick it up. And uh, while at it, I'll show you my plants here. <laughs> these are alive plants. My succulents here. Bought these from Calgary. They're beautiful. Here are more succulents. These are for sale. 
when I get up what I do is I spray water just a little bit it's uh I boiled onion the outside of the onion that's what it is and just water that's what I do just spray a little bit okay so I have counted there's 47 stitches on this sleeve as well just to be cautious if you have more or less what you do is you if you have less you pick up more stitches to equal the other sleeve because it has to be the exact same right if you have more then you pick up less stitches okay so uh, on the other sleeve what I did is there was 47 stitches okay I picked up nine stitches so it added up to 40 uh, 54 and automatically I got rid of two by the start and the end and I started to do my decreases nine stitches that well nine stitches times two because we're picking up two stitches when I see three when I say I, I, I when I was looking at the videos, I noticed I said to get rid of three. That means that you're getting rid of two, but you're picking up three stitches. So I hope that's not confused. And uh, at the end, I had a total of 27 stitches on the wrist area. Um, it's not the wrist, actually. It's, uh, it's a quarter, three quarters or around here. So a total of 27 stitches. Okay, so we're going to pick up stitches. What you need is you need a crochet hook. Yeah, you need, that's your big helper. Okay, and I'm going to pick up the bi big, bigger one, because this is a four, and it has to equal, when I'm picking up the stitches, it has to equal. And I just noticed I use more than 150 gram, because I just have this left, so you might need uh, 160, well... If you buy it with the 10 gram of uh, balls, then you would need 16 of them for a small size. But on the pink one that I knit, I used up, I guess it depends on the yarn, how much yarn. I, I really don't know. It's, yeah, so that one I used 140 uh, something, not even 150. But this one I'm uh, using more for some reason because the yarn is thin so uh, yeah that's another thing and I am playing around with the needle sizes if I knit with small needles I would be using more yarn that's why I'm changing it I start with a four and I go up to a five and a half Okay, so I'm just going to pick up this and it's giving me a hard time for some reason. It must be tight here. So from the stitch, this is how I tie it. And uh, because this is being 100% Angora Rabbit, that means that it's wool. So I felt it when I'm putting... Well, the knots are different. I can't do... It. I usually see them later when I'm knitting because I'm a fast knitter. I don't look. But uh, I will show you how to join. I, I did show on my other tutorials. And, uh, yeah, I felt it with water. And you don't have to see knots. Okay, so I'm going to pick up stitches. Total of nine. So I go... I don't want to make holes, so I go deeper. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Need to equal it. I need one between, and there's so many gaps. 
So what I'll do is I need to play around here. I think these two are very close. Actually those three. So two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so I'm going to move on to a five millimeter knitting needle. And later on, I will move on to a 5.5. The time I move on, I go up when I don't have enough stitches to knit with this needle. That's how I do it. Yeah, and uh, it saves you a bit of yarn. Okay, here we go. Let's recount them. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay, we're okay. <laughs> But I'm going to get rid of one stitch right away with knitting these two together. That's how I'm going to get rid of one stitch. And then when I come back here, I'm going to get rid of one stitch here, knitting two together. And I close that gap. And my marker is here. I put my marker when I did my decreases. So I'm going to do a decreases four rows later because I need to get rid of stitches. There's too many stitches for a small size. Yeah. Okay, just like here. Got rid of one. Three rows later and then six rows later. Six, six. And then I went on all the way. And this method fits perfect for a small size. I know it looks small, but now it will fit. It will fit like a glove. That's the nature of this yarn. So what I'm going to do is, okay, I'm gonna knit these two together to close the gap and get rid of one stitch, just like here. Just continue knitting so I will meet you right here I don't want to waste uh, time showing you how to just regular knit I'm just trying to show you the most important parts and the rest is easy uh, what I'll do is I will let you go I will try to show you how to close up this as well and I already showed you how to do the tubular bind off method the uh, tapestry needle method okay i'll be right back okay so i'm at the other side here and uh just going to so i didn't knit this last stitch I'm going to move it move it here you can see the knot Turned the knot to the other inside. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no getaway with that. So then, if I try to get rid of knots, it's impossible. So I got rid of one stitch. Okay. So I'm going to continue knitting three rows. When I come here, I'm going to get rid of two stitches in the middle right here. Okay. So that's all I'm going to do. I will knit and I will come back and try not to twist your stitches. This is how, like if I knit it this way, see what I mean? It would be twist, we don't want that. So instead of doing that, I'm knitting from here, grabbing it. There's another trick for you, it happens. Okay, and then 
when I come here I'm noticing this is a little bit of weird so I grab it from the opening and you will automatically see that it's twisted we don't want that so I do the opposite I come here and I fix it and it's fixy so try not to twist your stitches and this is how you pick up later on it, you just need to control how to pick up don't just don't go oh I'm supposed to knit from the front and if your stitches twisted it will twist when you're knitting so you need to fix that okay so you need to control because you're knitting this right and it has to be one one of a kind <laughs> okay I will meet you three rows later okay so I'm almost at the middle it's been three rows and you counted one two actually fourth I've been one row more than what I should have been that's okay when I'm looking at it and this one it's okay so these three in the middle so what I do is I don't knit this one I knit these two together so I get rid of one and I put this one on top there's other ways to get rid of two stitches. You you are welcome to do that, but I like this method. I tried others. It didn't work for me. <laughs> and I'm going to continue knitting for six rows. Okay. Well, on the six. So five rows. On the six, I'm going to get rid of. And then the more knit, I'm going to knit six rows. On the seventh, I'm going to get rid of two stitches. Okay. So you continue doing this. As I showed you right here about nine times so you get rid of 18 stitches and you should have 36 stitches and when you measure it you should have about uh, 12 inches long from the underarm for a, this is for a three-quarter sleeve like I said you can continue knitting until you you want the length that you want on the sleeve okay and then when I come to the wrist I'm gonna get rid of more stitches until I have total of 27 okay so I will meet you when I get rid of all of these uh, 18 stitches. I will meet you later. Okay, I'm short of yarn, so I'm going to attach. Here's one ball finished, and here's the other one. So I grabbed one ball on inside and out, and I'm going to attach these. So I'll show you. And you can just do this method if you're working with wool. I even tried with 50% well it works so what you need is you need to grab a tapestry needle okay just like this this is how I do it and then you grab the strand of yarn and you go because this is two strand if you look at it it's two ply so you go between or even if it's one ply you can poke the needle in between the yarn it's a one ply you can do that okay and then you just continue going through about a needle length and it felt so you don't have to worry about these two knots that you're going to be making and those knots always go in be in front of the garment. Okay, so this is enough. See, when you pull, it should be a needle length. And I pull it like this. All the way. And I'm not done. I hold it on my head like this. And then you spray and you go like this with your heat water that was water that I see. okay Ta -da. and then you do that to the other side and you don't have to worry about any knots okay just wanted to show you this this technique this trick Okay, so I've been knitting and I'm the length of where I need to get rid of some stitches. So I did total of uh, eight or how many did I do? I wrote it down here. 
nine, I believe. Now, whichever I did on the first sleeve, yeah, I got rid of 18 stitches, so total I have 36 at the moment. And I'm going to get rid of 10 more stitches to have total of 26 stitches. Okay, so this is how you have to do the same on the other sleeve. And to look how fluffy it is. Oh my goodness. So I, I put the marker, so the marker is touching that marker. And when I check, it's the same length where I need to bind off. Well, not bind off, start to get rid of stitches. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of stitches, three, two stitches here. So I'm going to knit these three together. And like I said, I need to do this five times. So purl three together. So I got rid of one. Knit, purl, knit, purl. Just count. Knit and then get two more, get rid of two more stitches. Oh, I forgot to change my needle. So I need to drop to a smaller needle, which is a four. And here it is. It's this uh, sock needles, lacy sock needles. Okay. So two, four, five, and then get rid of three stitch, two stitches, knit, purl three together. One, two, three, four, five, and then again get rid of two stitches. So this is the third. One, two, three, four, five. Again, get rid of two stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And again, get rid of three stitches. So how many times did we do? Better count. So one, two, three, four. So this is going to be the fifth. Pearl knit, pearl knit. Pearl knit, pearl knit. I'm just going to recount how many stitches I have. If... Oops, 20, 2, 4, 6. Okay, um, I need to get rid of two more stitches, but I noticed... I get rid of this there's only going to be one stitch between so what I'll do is I'll get rid of the stitch right here so there would be more room here we go so three stitches stitches here you know what I mean right it's going to be too close I don't want that okay so then we have a total of 26 stitches Okay, and I'm just going to knit, knit, knit. This is all I'm going to do. Okay, and um, I'm going to come back to show you how to bind off the tubular cast on or the Italian ca cast off bind off method or uh, the tapestry needle bind off method because I want to show you from the beginning to the end. Um, because we're doing this around and uh, there's no tutorial how to do this around so I wanted to share you how to do this in around to bind off so this way you will have the idea so from now on I'm just gonna knit so I knit one row so I'm gonna knit uh, nine more rows and then we're gonna come back and then bind off right here again this is a 
a three quarter sleeve so you don't have to you can knit more if you want and uh, go from there okay again this is the this is stretchy well not not that stretchy but it is stretchy and uh yeah this would fit a small size okay if you're knitting for yourself then you need to work with the sleeves with the stitches yeah every size is knit differently because you need more stitches okay so i will knit that nine rows and i will come back with a total of 10 rows and on the 11th we will bind off okay i'll be right back okay as you can see it it's the same length always measure 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 <laughs> we don't want one sleeve to be long it happened to me a couple of times i had to you know start make you know bind on and then continue knitting so just be cautious it has to be matching this to the edge now i'm going to do the tubular bind off and i will show you how to do it before I do, I started a new 25 gram of ball, which is here, and this is left over. So I am going to cut this yarn, just looking at it. So I will leave about this length, and then I will cut the yarn with the rest. I'm going to measure and see how much gram that I used up for a small size v-neck, three-quarter sleeve bolero. Benzi, you were asking me on the pink one I used less than well 150 gram so on this one let's see how much so I already used up 150 and plus this was the 25 gram so let's see what's left <laughs> two gram <laughs> so wow it's almost, it's almost 175 so I'm just going to round this I used up 150 so 2 gram is nothing right it, well 75 minus the 2 it's 73 so 23 23 gram plus 173 gram I have used up for the CR yeah and um, I did not charge enough for the customer so I'm knitting this for free Yep, unfortunately, the yarn is very expensive and really, really rare to find. <sighs> what can you do? Okay, and this is the yarn that I have knit with. It's 100% Angora Rabbit yarn. It's made in France. This is the best yarn in the market at the moment. I don't think they're making any more, though. I'm not quite sure about this. Um... That's another thing. So I am going to put a stop to this. Okay, anyways, let's go come back here. I'm just going to move this aside. Okay, you need a tapestry needle to do this again. Okay. Okay, here we go. It doesn't use up yarn, but sometimes, yeah, it, you just need to cut enough. And I don't want to waste this precious yarn, right? Okay, here we go. So we're going to start around. Okay, to do that, this is how we're going to start. Okay. So here's the knit stitch. I'm just going to go right there. Or what I can do is... Let me try this trick. I never did this before. Well, it doesn't work. I guess I might need to do this way. Yeah, let's do it this way. So here is the knit stitch. I'm going to come here as if to purl. And this one, I'm going to come around like this. And I'm going to let the first stitch go. Okay. Yep, you know what, I don't like it, but uh, it's not supposed to be like this. Let's fix this one. Let 
you just, just do it the way I do it. I wanted to try something, but it's not working. Okay, put this back. Here we start from here. And then we come here as if to knit. And then we let this go. Okay. And then we come here. And then go in between the stitches. The stitch, the purl stitch. And then make this as if to knit and let it go. And then pull it like this. Okay. That's yeah, it worked. That one stitch. Come to the knit stitch as if to purl. And then come here as if to purl again. And let the stitch go. Okay. Just like this. And you do to this every stitch. So I'm going to come back to the end. And uh, I will... Uh, how. I will show you how to finish it. Okay, I would highly recommend, to, like I watch exciting movies and it makes me knit faster than ever. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. You can do that and then knit at the same time. That would be great. Okay, so we're almost at the end. Okay, right here. Okay, I have this stitch left. But I'm going to grab that, uh, the first one, because I have a little bit left here. I'm going to grab that first stitch that we did. Remember, we did only one, right? So here it is. I can do that that would be great okay so I'll go like this and then let's see if it works yeah so I did this one too and I did this one too so I'm just gonna let it go but it won't let me yeah, it won't let me, let me just, yeah, it won't let me do it. Yeah, it won't let me do it. Oh, well, what can you do? So this is how we finish it. I just wanted to do some trick, but it didn't let me go. Okay, so I'm just going to close this gap. And um, this is how I do it. I go here. Just like this. Then I make another knot. And I start weaving this little tiny that is left. Yeah, just be cautious not to cut too long because this yarn is precious. It's hard to find. <laughs> and it's expensive. It's luxurious yarn. Okay, so this is how I do my weaving. And then I just pull it like this. And we're done. And I'm not done. I just want to weave that little bit more so with a smaller crochet hook and I dropped my need crochet hook so right after this I'm gonna start with the yarn that I have in my stash I just have a little bit left and uh, yeah so this is done yeah it's ready to be shipped what I'll do is I'll just uh, see how fluffy it is is fantastic so I will remove the markers oh I forgot to uh, sew on my uh, label I will do that and I will leave 
this part as well. So this is how you knit a small size Valera crop v-neck three-quarter sleeve. Like I said, for the sleeves you can uh, knit as long as you want. You can uh, play around with that. But this is one piece done in one piece and it's just fantastic. Okay, let me just put this aside and I want to show you the yarn. I have two different yarn. It's not enough to knit uh, like a classic one that I just knit. So I'm just going to turn on this and see how much I have. I don't think it's enough to knit like a long one. But three quarters, I could knit something. These are 10 gram each. See how fluffy they are? These are old. Now they're see they're 11 gram. Three, four. Oops, oops, oops. Four. Five. Six, seven, total of seven, and they are super fluffy and soft. It's about 73 gram of yarn. Put these here as well, though they keep on falling. Should put them in a the basket. 74 gram. So it's short, about 100 gram, to knit, you know what I mean, oh, just thinking. And I don't want to do two different colors, because I have a different pink, same as this. So this yarn, this is just a bonus video, uh, this is just a bonus, so this is made in France again. That's all I'm saying, made in France yarns are very good quality. This is 100% Angora Rabbit yarn, distributed by Norm Nomis Yarn. So this is one of the. See, I don't care about the brands. I just, I'm, from now on, I'm just going to look if it's made in France. And look how nice and clear the label is compared to the one just I bought. Look at this. I can't even read France. I was having a hard time finding where it was made. You know what I mean? <laughs> But it's here, and it's not clear enough for me to see it. But look at this, the way it's written. Fantastic. Isn't this beautiful? So it says 10 grams, 33 yards. So I'm just going to use up what I have. I'm going to make a V-neck. Okay. I might make the collar open more open than the ones that I just knit. So what you can do is, if you want, this is just like a classic uh, Bolera, but if you want it more open, I picked up 40 stitches. See, this is how it looks like. So it's 40 stitches and um, yeah. So I might make this a little bit open, just like a cover-up. So uh, that's my plan is. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to start that right away. And uh, if you want to see the pictures, I post them on my Instagram page. And I make TikTok videos. And I share it on Instagram page, yeah, with nice musics on it. Yeah, so I hope you like this uh, tutorial. Uh, this is part five. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. So I hope you like this video. If you haven't subscribed to my t uh, my tutorials, my YouTube channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to hit that notification button. So every time I post a new video, you will be notified indicating there's something new for you to watch. You guys take care. Happy knitting. Bye-bye.